Hi everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio series. In this uh, session, we are going to learn about the display elements of the Omni script um, and should be very short video as well. So I'll create a new Omni script called display elements OS. Uh, we'll provide same thing in type and subtype and let's save it. So you can see that we have two kind of display elements here. First one is line break and second one is uh, text blur. To show, show the how line break works, I will add two Xbox here. And then if we want to give any kind of spacing between those, so right, we can utilize the line break. I'll drag here and we can control the spacing. So if I want to give a like line break of 50 px, right, it will increase the size here. So let's go with 60 and then let's preview it now we can see that we have a good amount of a spacing which is almost like 60 px cool so that's what line break does so now we have our second display element which is our text block text block is more over our output thing right so if you have any variables or values that you want to show here you can show it it won't take any input from the user and it won't have any kind of action or click ele event something like that right so in in this text editor uh, it's a rich text editor right so you can do a lot of things you can do html formatting right you can insert links you can insert image image and then yeah, in images you can see that we have predefined uh, some logos as well or icons and then we have upload option you can upload your own image here and you can bind the variables as well so for example i want to bind something here so text once output okay and then binding works in this way that we need to put two percentage sign and the variable name here so we have text one and we have text two okay so now if i go and click on preview so if i type like omni studio and you can see that this is real time right um velocity this is real time there is another way that you can bind the same variables right so right now this variable or this element is available under the step one right so you can do this way as well like step one colon then text one right if there are multiple nodes you can go and so let's say if you had any other node between this right uh, like test node then you can put a column right so you have step one then you have test node then you have the text one node inside the test one node right so for here it can work without this right because these are elements right but when you're getting from data from database or integration procedure something like that right so at that point you might not have your data directly right so in that case you might need to go through the nodes like step one then text one right so in that case you the syntax would be column not the dot uh, the way that we have in the javascript so it is still working and there is third way uh, to access the data in array we don't have any array right now but if we had the array uh, so this is how it will be in the array so for example let's say this is your array list okay and if you want to access the um first index right then you will do this pipe sign and then your index number and in omni studio index start from the one not from the zero right so if you want to access the first index that means it is your first it is not your zeroth index okay and then if you want to access some property so the same thing you need to apply the like, columns and your property name So we don't have any variables but in uh, next session we might have so we can do this cool so that's it uh, for this video and uh, see you in next session where we will be discussing about the uh, actions